Hi, I'm Dr. Mohan Kumar, consultant uh, interventional cardiologist working at uh, Columbia Asia Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Unstable angina will not go away. This is an unstable angina is a life-threatening cardiac emergency. We need to identify and treat it as early as possible. The in unstable angina, the basically whatever the coronary artery plaques which are there in the inner layer of the coronary arteries, there will be plaque erosion resulting in the thrombus formation that re reduces the blood supply to the myocardial muscle. So if we don't identify the patients uh, in the, when the patient is having unstable angina, the patient may go on developing and the permanent damage to the heart muscle. So the unstable angina need to be diagnosed uh, as early as possible and it should be treated. The treatment of the unstable angina depends uh, on the patient's clinical presentation. Initially, we will uh, manage with uh, medications like uh, blood thinning medications, cholesterol reducing medications and clot formation prevention medications and also we will use the medication to decrease the demand of the heart by reducing the heart rate and also to increase the supply of the heart uh, by giving certain medication which dilates the obstructed uh, coronary vessels. The most important thing in unstable angina is patient requires a coronary angiogram. Coronary angiogram is a study where uh, we uh, inject a dye into the risk, uh, blood vessels which supply the blood to the heart that is called coronary arteries and uh, the dye will replace the blood and will take a fluoroscopic photo that will give a clear idea how many blockages are there and uh, the treatment is decided by the nature decided by the findings we uh, see in a coronary angiogram. If it is a, a single uh, vessel obstruction, we might ask the patient to undergo a percutaneous coronary angioplasty. So if there are uh, multiple blockages, we might ask the patient to uh, undergo uh, coronary artery bypass grafting. Or if there are uh, diffusely diseased blood vessels and if there are uh, obstruction in the small blood vessels or if it is not uh, a significant blockages, we might keep the patient only on the oral medications. So, but treating the unstable angina is very much essential to prevent the future morbidity and mortality because of the cardiac problems.